So in uh, preparation for the uh, trip uh, in two and a half weeks time to uh, Old Timer Grand Prix in uh, Nuremberg Ring, uh, I've, uh, I've booked uh, an appointment at nine o'clock this morning for a four wheel wheel alignment to make sure that uh, the steering and everything is set up properly. Uh, it's probably not really a four wheel because uh, the back wheels can't be changed but uh, or adjusted but uh, but I will be setting the uh, caster or having the caster and the uh, toe in set correctly um, as per the instruction manual and the uh, input I've been given on the uh, different fora I've been uh, asking for info on um, reason being that uh, it, 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 it doesn't really drive that badly but uh, the self-centering uh, is non-existent uh, and I remember from my Julia that uh, I did have a slight toe in uh, I'm not sure what it was at that time but it, it was not straight and I, I, I have a an idea that the uh, toe in is very neutral right now um, uh, and it is a bit lively uh, or not lively it's a, it's a bit uncertain uh, at some speed so, so I'm hoping to cure that uh, another thing is I'm going to have the four wheels uh, balanced. Uh, they have a very nice balancing machine at the place I'm going, uh, and uh, and uh, that cured a lot of stuff on the on, on the previous car uh, and cars that I've had as well. They're really really good at uh, setting up the the uh, balancing of the different wheels. Uh, and the reason for that is that uh, at speeds at around um, 110 115 kilometers, there is a slight jiggle uh, it's not it's, it's a bit of it is in the steering wheel uh, but then again not it's, it's difficult to uh, to uh, define exactly where it's coming from uh, and the previous owner has told me that uh, he's had the propeller shaft off and had it balanced uh, so it shouldn't be that it has new center uh, bushings on the uh, propeller shaft and uh, looking at the uh, underbody and all the drive line, it looks as if everything is uh, spick and span. So, so I suspect it's a, the, it's a combination of uh, wheel alignment and uh, and uh, wheel balancing. Uh, all the uh, joints up in the steering are also new. Uh, within the last year or so, they've been changed. So, so I'm putting my money on. Uh, after the nine o'clock appointment and a little hours uh, fine tuning of the uh, suspension and steering, everything will be spick and span. Well, it's been uh, about an hour now, and uh, they've uh, fine-tuned it. Uh, two turns around the uh, adjusting it, one and a half millimeters toe in on the driver side, uh, five millimeter shorter toe in bar on the uh, passenger side, and then uh, adjust the middle uh, bar so that they have uh, equal toe in. And then uh, up and check the steering wheel and then down and uh, do it all over again just to fine tune it and then he's doing a third uh, adjustment where he uh, fine tunes it where he does a sort of a floating uh, 
uh, toe in alignment on each wheel to make it perfect. It's going to be good. Og det var logikken. Det var det samme. Altså hvis du i der måler øh, lidt udstyrning, hvor meget blandet den får. Og så er de der små huller, der er boret i den. Og her, så det er det hul der. Og så dernede i, der ligger en lille dyse, der så også... At varekommet trækker benzin enten fra tomgangsdusen, det gør det helt op til 4-5.000 omgang. Og den er allerede nede på mindste hul, så den får så lidt luft, som den overhovedet kan. Og nu er du til det. At på øh, tomgangsdusen, der kører den bare perfekt, rigtig lækkert. Når den så går på hoveddyserne, det er noget andet.